and Bernie butted heads? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, they were the kind of guys that they both alpha so, males, you know, like they they both, you know, they just saw it different, you know. It up. You wish you would have stayed and kept it together, could have kept it together we, a couple of we, we tried everything. But, you know, dudes felt like they was movie stars. Bernie, uh, you know, felt like he didn't want to do it anymore. He was on his own path and Steve. So, uh, you know, nothing like that ever happens or doesn't happen. But to get it. And Bernie started to get it. And then he could make his own decision. He could decide that this is what he wanted to do. And he made a different decision. Uh, he was the headliner of the Kings of Comedy when it first came out. City after city, he was eating dick on. The clash between Bernie and Steve was more than just a clash of personalities. It was a clash of comedic visions, ambitions, and even egos. These two formidable figures, both labeled as alpha males, possessed contrasting viewpoints that eventually led them on separate paths within the world of comedy. Ernie, as Bernie was often referred to, felt a growing detachment from the shared trajectory he and Steve had embarked upon. His desire to pave his own way and explore unique comedic avenues gradually distanced him from the collaborative spirit of their earlier endeavors. On the other hand, Steve's determination to stay true to his vision meant that he continued down a distinct route, sometimes diverging from Bernie's creative direction. Over time, Bernie began to grasp the significance of this divergence. He recognized that he could no longer be confined to the confines of a shared comedic approach and needed the autonomy to explore his individual style. This realization empowered him to make the bold decision to venture into uncharted comedic territory, diverging from the familiar path he and Steve had trodden together. However, the questions lingered, could they have preserved their unity? Could they have managed to navigate their differences and maintain their collaborative spirit? Efforts were indeed made. Countless discussions and attempts to reconcile took place. Yet, the undercurrents of their rivalry, fueled by their strong-willed personas, ultimately proved challenging to overcome. The roots of their rift were not only personal but also professional. The backstage and off-camera tensions during the original Kings of Comedy tour captured so vividly in the eponymous film, underscored the complexities of their relationship. Cedric the Entertainer's candid admission during his conversation with Shannon Sharp shed light on the dynamics at play. The contrasting visions, combined with the promoter's overpowering presence, added an additional layer of complexity to the narrative. The ego-driven aspirations and the emergence of a prominent promoter as a disruptive farce exacerbated the tensions and played a role in preventing a subsequent tour. Bernie's candid interview with GQ in 2003, in which he accused Steve of jealousy and sabotage, further intensified the spotlight on their strained relationship. Steve's subsequent response revealed the hurt he felt due to the allegations. It was a tumultuous period marred by public disagreements and misunderstandings. Bernie's untimely demise in 2008 cast a different light on their relationship. Steve's acknowledgement of the reconciliation he had achieved within himself showcased a man who had moved beyond the feud and found closure in the face of tragedy. The passing of time had allowed wounds to heal and resentments to dissipate, culminating in a sense of peace that transcended their differences. The legacy of Bernie Mac remains intact, as does the impact of the original Kings of Comedy tour. Bernie's unfiltered humor, his ability to tap into the thoughts and emotions that often remain unspoken, continues to resonate with audiences. His irreverence on stage was a stark contrast to the warmth and kindness he demonstrated in real life, leaving a lasting impression on those who knew him personally. The Kings of Comedy tour, a trailblazing success, remains a testament to the collective genius of Bernie, Steve, Cedric, and D. L. Hugley. It broke records, shattered expectations, and solidified their status as comedy legends. The dynamic between Bernie and Steve, though marked by tensions, contributed to the tour's allure, adding a layer of authenticity to their performances. In the end, 
the legacy of Bernie Mac and the Kings of Comedy Tour is one of complexity, camaraderie, and comedy. Their stories and interactions, filled with creative clashes and moments of reconciliation, have left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. While the rift between Bernie and Steve is a part of their narrative, it's the enduring impact of their contributions to comedy that truly defines their legacy.